said we created you, O mankind, we created you from a single pair of a male and a female, and made you into nations and tribes so that you understand each other, not that you despise one another. The best of you in the sight of Allah is he who is the most righteous. And he went down memory lane from the advent of Islam, where the prophet of Islam advocated for justice, equity, and fairness. Some of his closest disciples, Salman al-Parishi, Suhaib al-Rumi, Bilal, were not Arabs. And just on the 22nd of May this year, the first Saudi Arabian, the first Muslim woman to go to the space, into the International Space Center, was Rayana al-Barnawi. Clearly indicating her descent. Barnawi, wherever you hear, means that person is from Borno. <laughs> and locally, the Borno identity is a multi-ethnic identity. A Babur man is a Barnawi, a Margi man is a Barnawi, a Plata Borno is a Barnawi. So also, is a Kanuri man. So his eminence, who has Plata Borno blood in his veins, can be rightly, we should also add Al Barnawi to his eminence. Abraham Lincoln said, most men can survive the extremes of adversity, but to test a man's true character, he said, give him power. And here, we have Professor Ishaq Oloedi. He's one gentleman that I have never gotten tired of celebrating. Although we may have some differences in opinion, but that does not be cloud the fact that for 40 years, for 40 solid years, the organization that he is heading now generated only 55 billion naira in 40 years, averaging 1 billion naira, 1.2 billion naira per annum. In his place here is the registrar of JAM. He brought to the national corpus 7.8 billion naira as revenue. This is a true reflection of Islamic leadership. And power is the most ephemeral of Allah's gifts to humanity. We are what we are, not because of our pedigree. The Sultan of Sokoto is a direct descendant of Uthman bin Podio. We are here. We are leaders, not because of our intellect. Professor Galadanchi is a professor of robotics. Neither Kashim Shatima nor Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinibu holds any PhD degree. We are what we are, not because of our physical prowess, no. Ismail seated here can maul me to pieces. We are what we are, not because of our political sagacity. There are better politicians. Senator Abubakar Kari was a member of the House of Reps when I was hitting the banking floor as a bank manager. So your eminence, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, power to us will be a humbling experience. It's an opportunity to serve God and humanity. And whether we accept it or not, we are going to spend more years of our lives outside power than in power. So, inshallah, Ashwaju is a peer minded leader. Ashwaju will do justice to all Nigerians, irrespective of differences in political affiliations, religious persuasions, tribal or sectional background. We are all united by our common heritage of poverty. 
destitution and insecurity. This is the time for all of us to coalesce into a single post. According to Quantary, a global consultancy output, there will be an 85 million global talent deficit by 2030. Nigeria is in a unique, in a pole position to take advantage of this talent deficit because of our high internet penetration index, because of our useful population, because of our proximity to Europe, and because of our proficiency in English language. India, last year, earned $135 billion from global outsourcing. How much did we earn as an oil producing nation? Not more than $30 billion. So ours is a great nation that is waiting to unleash its full potential to the world. China was once described as a sleeping giant. China had woken up. Nigeria needs to wake up. Inshallah, we are calling on all of you to pray for us, for Allah's guidance, for wisdom, and for protection. I want to reassure you that Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu will hit the ground running from day one. Inshallah. Because we do not actually have the luxury of time. The challenges facing us are humongous. As the Chinese will say, the worst cause that a Chinese man may wish for you is for you to live in interesting times. And indeed, we are living in interesting times. But be rest assured that in the fullness of time, Nigerians will come to pay glowing tributes to Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinigo. The starting point might not be rosy. Let me be very honest with you. The oil subsidy has become an albatross around our neck. The multiple exchange rate system is a drain on the national economy and creating a dual economic system. There are certain decisions that the president, the new administration will inshallah take. But your excellencies, your eminence, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the fullness of time, Nigerians will come not only to appreciate, but also to celebrate us. In my sisters, be rest assured that you will be well represented in the incoming administration. Not only to be well represented, but you will be well compensated. Thank you so much. May God bless us all. May God unite our nation. May God bring peace, development, and prosperity to our nation. There can never be peace without development, and there can never be development without peace. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. The hope is renewed. Your Eminence, Your Excellencies, vote of thanks by Tijani Umar, Permanent Secretary, State House, and Chairman Jamaat Prayer Committee. Alhamdulillahi min ash-shaytani rajim Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, ma sha Allah barakallah fi. Your Excellency, Mr. President, represented by my boss, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, 
and Chairman of the Presidential Transition Council, Your Excellency the President-elect, represented by His Excellency the Vice President-elect, Your Excellency the wife of the Vice President-elect, Mrs. Nana Kashim Shetima, our father, the Amirul Muminin, His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, and the President General of the Supreme Council on Islamic Affairs, Honorable Ministers here present, especially the Minister of Information, members of the National Assembly present here, the Murshid of the National Mosque, members of the diplomatic community, distinguished invited ladies and gentlemen. My own task is the simplest today. On behalf of the chairman of the Presidential Transition Council, it is my honor and privilege to thank you all for honoring our invitation to support this very important event one of the many leading to the inauguration of a new administration on 29th May 2023. Our utmost gratitude to our brother Professor Bashir Galadanchi for a very illuminating paper. My gratitude to my colleagues on the Juma Prayer Committee. My gratitude to the National Mosque Management and the Committee at the National Mosque level. My simple prayer this afternoon is to say, may Allah guide and protect the incoming administration and grant our country enduring peace, development and unity. I wish all of you a very safe return to your destinations. And may Allah bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That was the vote of thanks from the Chairman Juma Prayer Committee, the Permanent Secretary of the State House. Inshallah, I'll be moving quickly to the closing prayer. And our Imam that will do that for us is Dr. Sheikh Muhammad. Please, Father Tafadal, for the closing prayer. Please, Chair Muhammad, for the closing prayer, sir. Please, kindly stop distribution of uh, refreshment for now, please. Let's stop distribution, please, for now. Let's have the closing prayer. Dr. Sheikh Muhammad, for the closing prayer. Salu ala Nabi al Karim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammadin kama sallayta wa rahimta wa barakta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alamina innaka hamidun majid Rabbana alayka tawakkalna wa ilayka anabna wa ilayka al-masir Rabbana la taj'alna fitnatan lil qawmi al-zalimin wa najjina bi rahmatika min al-qawmi al-kafirin Allahumma fazna min bayni aydina wa min khalfina wa an aymanina wa an shama'ilina wa min fawkina ونعوذ بعظمتك عن نقتال من تاتنا سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. The national anthem. Please, after that, there will be a group photograph here on the edge of the stage. Photograph group uh, uh, group uh, photograph the edge of the stage, please. Never miss a moment. Instant breaking news from all over the globe. Live streaming of your favorite programs delivered directly to you. Watch anytime from anywhere on your mobile or smart devices. Download the TVC News app today. Available on Google Play and Apple Store. Uh, swearing in.
of the president-elect tomorrow. Because if the Supreme Court 